morning and welcome to a new vlog. Slightly different today, obviously we're in the SVX now. It's the day after Players Classic at Goodwood. I thought, hey, I'll take the car out for once and maybe get some pictures of it, take some videos. And naturally it's raining. And also, uh, apparently I didn't wind my window up fully overnight. And yeah. So that's gonna, uh, that's gonna stain, which is gonna be fantastic. Um, yeah. Let's go take some photos and pictures, videos, whatever. So I got pretty lucky with this. It stopped raining, which is amazing. It's, yeah, it's not gonna rain again, I think. So I've actually got some time and some weather to film this properly. A lot of you guys haven't actually seen this out in the wild. And honestly, I don't take it out that often purely because it's a pain. My workshop, although it's an amazing workshop, it's really annoying to get in and out of with the car. The car's big and space getting in and out of the workshop isn't that big. So here it is finally, 95 wide body Subaru SVX. quick rundown of the car, what's been done to it, future plans for it, future plans not that much to be honest, um, probably a manual swap eventually, uh, it definitely needs it, although the automatic is absolutely fine as long as you don't beat on it, uh, it's good for driving shows which is mostly motorways and traffic so yeah that's pretty much the extent of it after this, power wise it's absolutely fine. So I'll give you guys a rundown of what I've done to the car. Um, and just give you a walk around because obviously you haven't had a walk around. To start with, you'll notice it doesn't look like an SVX or a normal SVX anyway. I apologize for the wind. It is a little bit windy here today. I live on the south coast, so apologies for that. I'll start off with the front of the car. So the front bumper is a 200 SX bumper, an S14A Vertex style. It's been extended 50 mil on the sides here to meet the arch line. If it wasn't extended, obviously you wouldn't get this nice arch line here. So extended 50 mil on each side. The front of the bumper has been cut away, obviously to compensate for everything that's going on there. Also, I blended in the top kind of 20 mil, I suppose, of the OEM bumper to get that light line to sit nice and straight. It's quite essential to get things looking, you know, as factory as possible, even though, you know, it's, uh, it's not factory. <laughs> and then side skirts are matching Vertex side skirts. They are again S14A. Naturally they don't fit. So they've been extended in length and in height as well to work with the OEM lines. Pretty straightforward stuff. Time consuming but straightforward. Now the rear, the rear quarters, obviously we've got our over fenders. I've made those completely from scratch just worked with the OEM lines, blew them out, obviously put a slight curve for the rear wheels. Naturally from the factory they come with a flat arch. So that's uh, that's given it a whole new look completely. Around 60 mil on each side. Just gives it a whole new, a whole new look. Also for the rear, I've got the spats made completely from scratch. Uh, putting a little detail there, you can see that matches the side skirt. I'll go around the other side and show you that. We've got that detail in there that works with the vertex detail on the side skirt. Uh, also, obviously, it's been repainted. It's a Mercedes color, an AMG color, selenite grey. 992 I believe is the code, I'm not going to gatekeep anything from you guys. 
I do need to repaint that. Originally from factory, it's black. I'm gonna go back to black on that. But I think the color really complements the car. It makes it stand out. It's a cool color, it's a cool shape. Uh, forgot front grille. That is a standard front grille. I've just gutted it completely. Gives it a completely different look. Again, makes it look like an S14, but not mad at that. Uh, suspension, we've got airlift on there. Um, airlift management. The shocks are from a Impreza STI. 07 to no, 05 to 07. STI shocks on there. With OCD bags. And then uh, the wheels. I've just got the works on there. And they are, uh, are they? 18 by 9 and a half. ET12, uh, I believe. I do have a, a spacer on the back to uh, to bring them out. I don't know to make that, that flush. Interior, completely standard. Pretty stock interior for an STX. Nothing special. Pretty straightforward stuff, you know. Um, time consuming. Oh, one more thing. We do have we do have the exhaust, obviously. Uh, it's completely standard apart from the back section, which is just straight through. So it gives it a cool sound. I'll give you guys a little sound check in a bit. Um, I was crashed into uh, a year ago, so the rear bumper does need replacing. Uh, I do have one. You can see the gap on the uh, on the panel there isn't quite right, and it's got some imperfections. So new bumper inbound. Um, not as extreme in terms of cutting, but new bumper on this way. Hope you guys enjoyed this little segment. Um, yeah, the, the audio is probably going to be bad, but I can't. I can't, I can't do anything about that at the moment, so I apologise. But I hope you guys enjoyed actually seeing this thing outside. Um, it's weird for me to get the time to you know just walk around it and um, kind of take it all in. It's usually just taken to shows, you know, or just sat in the garage, things like that. Um, it's nice to have a day where I've got no real um, numbers, I guess. And just to, yeah, just, just look at the car outside from a distance rather than up close and personal. So let's take this thing back to the workshop and uh, back safe and sound in the workshop. SVX is tucked away in the dry and typically nice blue skies at the moment. So yeah, could have waited about <laughs> a couple of hours and it would have been fine, but you know, it is what it is. So next episode for you guys is gonna be on the Brat, more stuff on the body. I was gonna put it up before this episode, but I wanted to get a bit more done. Um, started ordering some more bits for it as well so there'll be an episode after that once those bits have arrived and I've I've worked out um, how to fit them one thing's really easy to fit the other thing is kind of easy to fit but it's gonna be a little bit of a bit of fiddling but so this episode then it's gonna be an episode on one of the side skirts then it's gonna be an episode on some different stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed that thank you so much for sticking with the channel I really do appreciate it it helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Subscribe, you fools.